Hello and welcome back to another part of Design Your Own Level Tutorial. What we'll be doing in this video is creating our display so that we actually have like a separate video display inside of our um, display screen that we have created. So in order for us to do that, what I'm going to do is in Blender, I'm going to tap to go into edit mode. And then it all really depends on how long you want your screen to display. So for me, I believe that I'm going to select uh, these areas as so. Actually, I don't need to select them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to center my view by pushing Shift C. I don't know why I have this light in there. I'm just going to remove that Shift C. And then I'm going to hit Shift A. I'm going to add a plane mesh. And I'm going to go into the side view and rotate it by negative 90 degrees and then just bring it up, bring it a bit forward and then bring it sideways. All right. So this is a little bit better so we can kind of like judge how, how far we want it to be. So now I'm going to hit scale and on the Z axis, I'm going to scale it down. And in tab in edit mode, I'm just going to select the sides and then kind of like drag it out. So you kind of want to get how you want the display to look. But now there's a few things that you would need to do. If you want the display to display on the side before it starts curving, that then, then that should be fine. And then you could just make it go inside and you won't have any problems. But if you kind of like wanted to follow the curve, then what I want to do is I do want it to follow the curve, but only for a little bit, all the way up to about there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this back to the point where it was there. And then maybe move it forward and grab this point E to extrude and then just bring it down. And every time now I'm just going to like grab on a specific axis, but I'm not going to snap the grid. So I'm just going to E to extrude, grab on a Y axis. So I mustn't hide it. There we go. Grab on a Y axis. There we go. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm quickly going to extrude. I'm still kind of using the um, borders here for reference. So let's see. I want it to be kind of all the way to there. More, more. So I kind of want it to be but all the way to there. So then we could just go in here and quickly just line it up on the axis. So grab on Y. Grab on Y. So I'm just going to repeat it until I get kind of the look I want. So if you wanted to go all the way around, you're more than welcome to do that. But you just have to bear in mind whatever video you're going to create for it, you kind of needed to create it by that ratio. So what I mean is that your standard computer monitor is a, it's got a 16 by 9 ratio. And now just imagine that this, I have absolutely no idea what this would be. This would be something like if this is the 9, then this would probably be on the grounds of something like 40 or 50. So just uh, bear in mind the ratios will be completely different. All right, so then I'm just going to take this one. I'm going to kind of like drag it all the way there. Maybe that was a bit too much, something like that. There we go. So I'm kind of happy with the way that that looks. Uh, absolutely. No issues, but now what I want to do is I want to, I'm going to have to UV unwrap this. So I'm just going to split this area off, go to my UV image editor and then just zoom out, create a new image, which I'm just going to call display and we'll make it uh, 10, 24 by 512. It's not really going to matter. 
All right, and then what I want to do is I'm going to hit to you to unwrap and then I'm going to project from view with bounds. And then you'll see, there we go. It actually made everything nice so that we have some nice boundaries. And then that's pretty much done. So now I'm just going to select the model I created and I'm going to hit file, export FBX and we'll call this display video and all the settings are still the same selected objects edge detect and armature disable leaf bone click export all right so we're going to jump over to unreal engine 4. now you have to remember that i did not have to actually create the plane i could have grabbed geometry from the left over here and then just make a flat surface and let the video play on there. That would have been perfectly okay. But I want the screen actually to line up with the video that I created. So it all depends on what you want to do. And then another thing as well, I didn't center it on my uh, axis over here. So the way that it's currently centered is if I move it to exactly the same axis as our screen that we created, then they will should line up perfectly. And so you'll see now what I mean. So I'm just going to go over here in my models tab. I'm going to click import. Uh, that's the video that we actually want to create. So I'm just going to ignore that for now. Desktop, little design, and then display video. I'm going to click open and just click import. If you open it, you'll see. That's what it looks like. I just want to make sure of one thing. I wonder if I smooth shaded it before I exported it. I don't believe I did. Uh, let's just double check. No, indeed, I did not. So what you just want to do is just click smooth shading and then export. So that's a slight mistake I, I made. So I'm just going to overwrite that one. And delete this one. and then import it again open it and now it should be fine smooth shaded and we're going to drag it into the world so i'm just going to drag it in but now you'll see that's what i meant by the pivot point so the pivot point should line up with our screen over here but we just need to make it the same size at a 1.25 scaling that we've been using i'm going to move that up Alright, so now what you can do is let's jump into our top view. Alright, so there's our screen. I actually just want to hide all of these other ones currently so that I could just see what I'm doing. There we go. Alright, so there's our screen and that's where its pivot point is. And then this one we need to kind of like line up to where that one is. So I think that was roughly about okay so two up and one down I think it was no just one up all right all right so easy way to find it click that one click this one just move it up one now it should actually line up quite perfectly. So we can go back to our perspective view. Let's see, there it is. It just needs to be moved a little bit up. And now remember, you can still scale this out. So you can still try and stretch it a little bit higher or such. Um, I just made it this small because that is the actual uh, width I'm going for. So that looks pretty good. But now we need to apply a video to it. So I'm going to go to my content folder. I'm going to right click and create a new folder. I'm going to call this videos. Then open the folder, click import. I'm going to navigate to the video that I created. So, and then just double click and open it. So if you double click on the video, see this is the only options it will give you. Now, this can be any video, but just try and keep in mind to videos that um, 
any computer can play. So if you're going to use like a specialized codec type video, it might play on your computer, but it might not play on other computers. So what we want to do now is we're going to right click and is it? click on the media, media player. And then we're going to do the audio and the video output. Now I don't actually have any audio for, for this, but those would be the general settings that you would use and then click OK. And then you could give it a name and just push enter. Then you'll see that it automatically gives names uh, or creates the video and audio file. All right. So then what you want to do is you want to open your media player and then you'll see that there is the video that I created. We can double click on it. And there we go. So you can see that it actually wants to, well, it actually does play inside of Unreal Engine 4. And you can also see that it auto assigned the video to that point over there. So I'm just going to close this off. And then the plane that we have over here, I'm just going to select this plane so we don't accidentally put it on that plane. I'm just going to click H to hide. And then these two files, I'm going to hold shift to select them both and then just drag them onto our material over there. And then you see it created a material uh, for that video. Then what we want to do is we're going to have to open our level blueprint. So this is actually the first time we're working with blueprint. Okay, well, you can see I did this before. I did set it up. So I'm just going to delete this and then start from scratch. So what you want to do is you're going to go to your variables tab. You're going to click plus and then it should appear either under your details panel. This might be on the left or the right, depending on where you set it up inside of Unreal. Then you where it says Boolean. You can just click there and then you can type in media and then you'll see there's the option media player. I'm going to click on that and we'll just call this media player. All right. So let's see any other options we need to change in now. Let's see if there's a default value. Okay. Well, I need to compile my blueprint first. So it says that you need a default, uh, the blue, sorry, a default value for it first. And the default value will be the media player over there. So I'm just going to say you selected. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this variable in and we're going to get its value. And then I'm going to drag it off. And then what you want to do is type in open source. Now this will only be available if you drag it off. If you right click and try and enable it, it will not give you any option. So remember to drag it off and then you'll get the option. And then on event begin play, the target is the media player and then the target media source must be the sample video. So we should still have that one selected over there. So then just say use from content browser. I think it's that one. Sorry, you have to select the video file. There we go. All right. So you actually have to, uh, sorry, you can't use from a content browser. You have to select the asset from the video over here. So we'll just click on there and that should be it. So if we compile, okay, we got a, a mark there. So I hope everything's going to work now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to play and simulate. And there we are. So there is our video inside of our display. You can actually move it slightly forward if you don't want it to seem like it's a different video or we can add like a, a different because it does actually create a material. We can add different looks to it. We can maybe make it emissive. So I'm just going to try that and see if that does anything. So let's just apply and stop and click play to simulate. And you see that looks much better. When it's a missive, it actually looks like the display is bringing it out. So that looks a little bit better. Okay, so essentially what this did, we imported the video, we created a, the media player file for it, and then these two files. 
and then we um, set up a level blueprint uh, let's just click stop and we told the level blueprint to create a variable that's called our media player reference our media player in that uh, variable and then when the level starts it must open the source the source being um, targeted to the media player and then that being the media source which is our video over there so that is a very basic way to to play video um, we're going to leave it as is for now later on we're going to like go into details on how to loop it and things like that and just a, a few other things as I uh, created here I made it uh, emissive so that it actually displays um, brighter now later on you can if you use different colors and everything like that you can just make it look a little bit more emissive it all really depends on what video that you want to create so with that said this is pretty much done for this part of the tutorial if you liked it leave a like if you didn't you can leave a dislike please subscribe and i will see you in the next video